All right, man, so look, we back at it again with another Officer Tatum video. Now look, Officer Tatum been going crazy lately, bro. This man, like him, Can Candace Owens, bro, is the two people I love the most, bro, because they, they speak the truth and they have the same viewpoints as me. So you know what I'm saying? It's like we just a, we just a uh, triplet, you know what I'm saying? So look, we got this video right here say this is so sad. Now, I seen the thumbnail and it said, where is Black Lives Matter right now? So we fans go ahead and see what uh, Officer Tatum got to say about what's going on in the world. It's been a lot of things going on in my city, y'all. If y'all don't know, I am from Chicago. And it been a lot of things going on, like kids getting shot left and right, 15 year olds going missing. It's just been crazy, bro. Like, that's why I stay my black self in the house. I'm not even go cap. But anyways, come on, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. Enough talking. Without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. Follow me on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it, man. Let's keep it real. I don't need to do an introduction. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna show you this video. I said in the last video, that's up here. I said in the last video that I was gonna make a video about this because I'm incredibly frustrated with the fact I see people supporting Jacob Blake, Breonna Taylor, all these other people. They do all this stuff. They got their name up. They raise money on them. They cry. They spit in the street and do all of this different stuff Facts. for all the black and brown bodies that they care about. All the politicians pandering. That's another thing, bro. I feel like people only scream Black Lives Matter when it's literally like, how should I put this? I feel like they only scream Black Lives Matter or say Black Lives Matter this, Black Lives Matter that. It is for only the people they care about. Like, bro. They they only say it for the things that's I don't I don't know how to put it, bro. I really don't know how to put it, but I hope y'all know what I'm trying to say, bro. Like they do it if it's convenient to them. Let's put it like that, bro. All the political leaders, Al Sharpton and all them, and I guarantee you, you will never hear about these stories that I'm about to play right now. And I had my staff do a compilation just of two minutes worth. We could do we could do four hours of this, but we just did two minutes. Tell me why you'll never see these, these young people's names on anything. And this is sad because in the black community, I, I'm, I'm saying in general, nobody know this and nobody cares. Where is the Black Lives Matter on this stuff? Where are the Al Sharptons and, 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 and Crump and all them on this? Roll the film. Hey, good morning. Now, this is where the little girl's sister, six-year-old, is actually recovering right now from a gunshot wound. But that seven-year-old was killed yesterday. The new police say... I mean seven years old, bro. My city. I'm telling y'all, bro. My city is probably one, like... This city, like, when I make it with this YouTube and when I make it with the business I have that's going on outside of YouTube and just other sponsorship... Like, when I make it... I promise you I got to leave Chicago. I got to get my family out of Chicago because this is the things that's happening in my city on a day-to-day -day basis. It's becoming normalized now. Like, seven years old, bro. She didn't even get to live. Like, she really got to live, bro. She didn't get, she didn't get to do anything with her life. She didn't get to become 21 yet. Like, it's just like, bro. <laughs> and like he said, where's the Black Lives Matter at now? Where where's all the the chanting going on? Where's all the looting going on now? You I like you would never hear no seven year old and uh Black Lives Matter for this Black Lives like where where they at now? That's why I don't really that's why I don't support Black Lives Matter and not and I am so open about that. I don't support it. I don't support it at all. I will only support it. If they did it for every black person that died, not just by a person, not just by a white man that pulled out a gun on a black woman or a black lady, I mean a black woman or a black man, but if they did it because black on black crimes, white on white crime, like, man. Made a video about that, and it's, it should be up here. The mother of the little girls were putting them inside a vehicle when the shots rang out. The seven-year-old was shot in the chest while the six-year-old was hit in the chest and armpit. Both girls were rushed to Loyola University Medical Center where the seven-year-old passed away from her gunshot wound. Seven-year-old. Seven ...died another in serious condition after a shooting overnight. Judy Wang live at the University of Chicago Medical Center with the latest on that for us. Good morning, Judy. Very disturbing news out of Vernon Central High School. What's going on? Good morning. The two teen boys were shot in Inglewood early this morning. Paramedics brought both of them here to UFC where one of them was pronounced dead. Developing Black kids. These are black kids. Tonight. Once again, this is like... <laughs> 
now it's becoming like that me living in Chicago, let me tell y'all. So one of the worst parts of Chicago is the worst places to be at at the wrong time is Inglewood. Inglewood is one of those places that you do not want to be at. I don't care if your grandma, whatever, lives up, bro. You better go to her house early and you better leave early. You better not leave there at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, and so on. Because things like this happen. But it, that shit calls kids to die, bro. Kids to get shot. Kids that didn't even live to my age. That's why I, I'm thankful that I made it to the age that I made it at. Because if I would have stayed in the city and kept... If I would have like finished living out there in the city... I probably wouldn't be on this camera right now. Mainly because I was hanging around the wrong group of people. I'm telling you all that now. From, like, we was young kids, but now that I see how they look now, man, they look like they're about 30. I promise you. They look old, rusty, showing guns and all types of stuff, man. It's ridiculous. was shot and killed. Neighbors say this kind of violence is becoming too routine. WGN's Rob Sneed is live in Lawndale with the story. Rob. It's a headline you hear over and over again. Another black man shot either on the city's south or west side. And folks out there in the community today on the west side where this latest shooting happened told me that they are sick of hearing it. They say, when is it going to stop? Just before midnight Saturday, a 15-year-old child died after two men walked up to the boy and shot him multiple times in the head. 15-year-old boy shot multiple times in the head. Officials pronounced that. <laughs> Just why? Why? Just why? Team Dejan Gator dead at Mount Sinai Hospital. Breaking news tonight, 11-year-old girl was shot in the West Pullman neighborhood. She is in serious condition at the hospital right now. Police say she was shot in the back near 117th Place and Michigan. You, you see the irony of Black Lives Matter flag right here? And I didn't even see she that. took a black life right over here? People shot outside of a party in Austin. Yeah, that's on the city's west side. Five of them range in age from 12 to 19. Good morning. This was the second shooting in Austin this weekend with multiple victims. Among the victims brought here to Stroger Hospital overnight, 13 and 14 year old girls who were wounded in a drive by shooting. Police say at least one person, possibly more, walked up to that car and just started shooting. The 24 year old man was shot in the side and was pronounced dead on the Seen. The 10 year old boy was also shot, brought here to Stroger Hospital. He is expected to be okay. There was also a 25 year old woman who was shot in this incident. More than 50 people have been shot across Chicago this weekend, including several children. God dang, Chicago! God, this is why nobody don't want to visit our city. This is why all the famous people that make it in our city leaves our city because of things like this, bro. 50 people, dog? That ain't, that's not nothing compared to how the summer went, boy. I done seen a lot of people that's from my city that said, sun out, guns out. You know what I'm saying? So I already knew it was going to be a daily summer. This is, this, is, this is crazy, bro. Among the victims, an eight-year-old boy and several teen girls. When one or more people inside a dark-colored SUV started shooting, six people on the sidewalk near Ohio and Laverne were hit. Four of them girls, ages 12 to 15. Police say the girls' injuries range from gunshot 15. wounds to the hand and the buttocks to a graze wound to the head. Now, I mean, that's just, we just put a two-minute clip together, and a lot of it is, is the narration. I mean, just imagine if we just clip, 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 shooting, 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 50 people shot. This is just Chicago. This is just Chicago, y'all. This, <laughs> this is one city, one part of one city. But you're not going to hear this on the news. You're not going to see anybody talk about it. Black Lives Matter don't care. None of these kids that have a, a name on a helmet, stop the inner city violence and never be on somebody's helmet. They'll never have a T-shirt. They'll never do nothing. But if you a thug out here gang banging and you get shot, like one of these dudes that shot one of these people, get caught out on a traffic stop and pull a gun on a cop and get shot, that his name will be everywhere. Y'all make it make sense to me. Make it make sense. And that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's why I said I, I support black. I don't support Black Lives Matter. I don't respect it either. I don't. And the simple reason why I don't is like I said in the beginning. It's because... Black Lives Matter don't scream this stuff when, like, people like this. Pe innocent people die. 
Now, granted that 15 now, now knowing my city and knowing that a lot of teenagers are into this gang stuff and this gang related stuff and they like to fight and do, knowing that, I'm not saying that 15 year old boy probably was into gangs, but knowing how my city is and knowing the kids in my city, I, nine times out of now nah, I, I won't even say that because I don't want to disrespect him because he probably was a good kid and he probably just wrong place, wrong time. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to say that. But it's just crazy to me, like he's like Austin Tatum said, bro. It's crazy to me that you won't hear about this. It's hard to hear stories about this. You know what I'm saying? Because people like they not go talk about this. They not go talk about the actual stuff. The innocent girls, the seven year olds, the little kids that didn't make it to see 18, the little kids that didn't make it even see 21. That's dying left and right. It's like a, it's literally like normalized. Like it's so normalized in my city because it's like, bro, next like. Kids dying left, right, left, right. It's like, bro, what what do we have to do? It's nothing we can do. It's nothing we can do. That Black Lives Matter stuff don't work, bro. Whether you want to scream it, this and that, bro, scream it all day long, bro. You you ain't nobody's listening. You only screaming it because a white man put out a put out a gun on a black man. The man was a thug with the wolves, pants sagging down below the booty, and you know, want to gang bang and do all this, and then he gets shot to he the top of the world he the king of the world y'all don't even praise god as much as y'all praise these people these thugs that's crazy to me how y'all don't praise the the creator the one that can send you to heaven or hell but y'all will praise a thug that got shot by a cop and say black lives matter all right say peace oh rest in peace we need justice we need justice do the same for the seven-year-old girl. Do the same for the 15-year-old boy. Do the same for the six-year-old girl. Do the same for the 12-year-old girl. Do the same for the 25-year-old woman. Do the same for these innocent people that got nothing to do with pro I don't know if I don't know what their life story was. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's getting out of hand, bro. The way y'all praise these thugs, praise these people the same way. Y'all, y'all want to scream Black Lives Matter. Scream it the right way, not the way y'all want to scream it. Don't scream it when it's convenient to you. Scream it for, for scream it for everybody. Cause at this point all lives matter to me. But in reality, it's just like, bro. Like he like Austin said, make it make sense. Make it make sense. It don't make sense. I feel like y'all just doing stuff at this point, to bro. Me. Where is the white community like this? I'm just saying. Show me an Asian community like this. So, no, show me a, show me a white community where fifty people shot in a weekend. Show me. Anywhere, 50 people shot in one weekend in a white community. 50 people shot in one weekend, bro. Do y'all realize that the weekend ends on, it's only three days in a weekend? Actually, it's really not because some, Friday, some people work. So that's not really a weekend. Saturday and Sunday is like the weekend. Two days, 50 people shot. Two days. You ain't gonna see, like, I'm not, I'm not praising white people. I'm not praising black people. I'm not praising no, no race. But it's just it's it's the truth. You're not going to see, <laughs> you're not going to see this in a white a white neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to see this on, in the white community, in the Asian community, Hispanic. You're not going to see this. And black people, they they like why you think why you think different races look at us different, look at us as ghetto. We don't have common sense. It's true. It's true. We don't hold ourselves up to be to be more professional. Why you think it's why y'all think it's so hard? It was hard. I don't know if it still is, but it it, it was hard for a black for a black person to get a, a job. And sometimes it still is. At certain jobs, you know, they discriminate. I bet if you go in there with a lot of tattoos like this and and you know, you still looking nice, but you got a lot of tattoos, you know, probably got some grills, you know, pants a little low, not too low, but just a little low. I bet you ain't gonna get that job. Come on, black people. Y'all want to be held to a higher standard. We got to make ourselves be a higher standard. We can't be out here just killing people for fun. I feel like y'all doing this for fun. What happened to putting up these? This will make you a real man. This will make you real. Not putting up a gun shooting a seven-year-old, bro. Whether you meant to or not. First of all, if you didn't mean to shoot her, you need to go to the gun range and really practice on your shots. Because ain't no way you missed a whole bullet and hit a seven-year-old girl that couldn't even live, bro. Now, that could have... Whether that was your daughter. Well, that was your sister. You would be devastated, bro. In a in, in a in a Hispanic community, white uh, Asian community, Jewish community, 
But y'all don't want to talk about this. But y'all don't want to act like there's a problem here. Show me. Okay, let me let me let me give you let me give you some more ammo. This video, I was gonna make a video about it by itself, but then I said, you know what? I, I'm I'm just gonna play it right here. Show me a video of white kids doing this right here. Show me a video of white kids doing this right here. Show me, and I, I I'll pay you I'll pay you three hundred dollars. He gon' beat her ass, but this what happened. I got to the door. I thought I was capping. I was laughing because they threw the up yelling. Yelling, I was cracking. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, and who? I don't need no copyright right now. But that's my song. I'm not gonna lie. I was cracking. I'm like, what? I'm like, nigga, who? I was born to shoot. I got ass. I'm like, Johnny Day. When it come to change, so I work that. You say 64. I'll raise it to a thousand. No, you can't. You can't have nobody. It's got to be an old video that's predated before I said this. But you know why kids like this? You know, you know why kids are like this, like little kids like this, because of the parents. The parents are showing them and stuff. Look at the music they playing around them. It's certain music that we play around my little sister, and it's certain music that we don't play around her because we don't want her to grow up thinking that this is cute. We don't play no Cardi B around her. You know what I'm saying? It might come on the radio, you know, but we can't stop that. We can't stop that. But we don't really play no hood type of music around. We don't play no. That's King Von, if y'all didn't know. We don't play that around here. As a parent, you have to raise your child up to, you got to raise your child to be better than what the generation they coming up in. Because this generation is sick. It's terrible. It's, it's, it's terrible. This generation is terrible. So when I have a kid, I'm going to raise them better than this generation. I'm going to raise them to a higher standard to be in this generation. I want them to be on top in this generation. Not like these low down kids. Like, come on, bro. Dude, not even probably one years old yet. And he over here raising the like Lego like it's a gun. And y'all recording and posting it like it's cute. That ain't cute, bro. Ain't nobody finna say, oh, look at the little baby. He's so cute. No. That baby finna grow up to be who knows what. This is why kids die so so early in their life. Because they want to be something they, they, they not. This kid don't even know what he doing right now. I seen, I seen kids dropping the G. Seen kids throwing up crib. Seeing kids, blood, stacking, all them gang signs, and they doing something that they not, especially these suburban kids. These suburban kids is a different story. They do more stuff than the hood kids. It's, it's crazy. It's repulsive. Don't try to get some kid to make a video now and then say, look, Brandon said this. Now nah, nah, I got to be before I said this. Show me white kids doing this. Show me. I'll wait. I'm going to turn it into a skip. I can't show you a white kid doing that, but I can show, show you a white kid yelling at their mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on y'all. I'm telling you, man, like, why can't we keep it real? Why can't we be honest about our affairs? Why do we got to push this? White supremacy is the biggest threat in America. No, no. It's when you a kid, like that kid, and you know every rap song, too, and you got a, you, can, you don't even have a gun in your hand. You have a Lego that you're pointing like a gun. You're too young to even understand what a gun is. But you know what killing and shooting and all this is. And then you grow up in that culture. And then that's how it leads to that highlight tape video that I showed a 15-year-old, 13-year-old, 9-year-old, 6-year-old. 50 people shot in the weekend. Amongst that, teenagers, kids. Okay, I don't need to say no more. Y'all get the point. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here. Oh, man. Shout out to Officer Tatum, bro. He always coming in clutch with the facts, with the facts after the facts after the facts. But we off this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, The Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.